But then if you want something a lot lighter, maybe more playful, this kind of a stroke would be more of a spiccato stroke. Now the composer will obviously uh, mark both of them short and most of, most of dots or, or accents or something like that. But we have to always make our stroke decision governed by the music and where it occurs rather than just take a, a dry example of we play all our dots this way, all our dashes that way, and so on. Also, it's very important to remember that certain markings that are 19th century markings never occurred in the 18th century. So if you see something like a dash and a dot under it in Mozart, you can be fairly sure that's not original because he never used markings like that. So we have to be a little bit of a, of a private investigator when we look at our scores and make sure that they are consistent with the style and the time of the composer.